continue with you on the topic of your new lesson that is fourth session that may merge. Okay, so we are going to discuss about that how could we just simply get a main merge or what are the steps, what are the advantages and other features. Okay, but the today's topics uh, in this video we are going to discuss about that. First of all, that is advantage of main merge, component of main merge, and after that steps of main merging. Okay. That how would we just simply follow such type of steps so that we can also merge the mail. Okay. After just doing such type of things, but first of all, we have to just simply discuss about that what is mail merge. Okay. Because this is a new word for all of us, not for me, but for all of you. But still, that uh, you could just simply know that what is mail merge. Okay. What is the process is that? So we are going to discuss about over the, uh, this process. Now after this, uh, uh, before discussing about the uh, what is mail merge, again I am just simply remembering you that if you are a new viewer in my channel, then first of all go there and subscribe my channel, press the bell icon, select all from the list so that you can get the notification of my video very firstly. And after that, if you like this video or my teaching style, then you just simply like the button okay press the like button also and share this video with your colleagues or friends so that they can also watch or view such type of information about mail merge okay so we are going to discuss about what is mail merge okay so mail merge allows you to create letter label envelope and so on each personally address to a different respect uh, this feature enables you to write just one document which can be used as template okay now you can input data such as name and address and merge it into template means this is a basic process by which you can just simply create a mail and after that uh, attach a document or create a document over there and after that it will just simply convert it to a template template what is template it is a pre-designed or pre-installed format of any type of uh, any type of mail so, uh, we are just simply going to discuss about this back in the fifth class we are just uh, using the microsoft powerpoint there are some pre-designed templates over there okay pre-designed uh, design layout theme, background also installed in it you have to just simply click or over the mouse pointer over it so that you can use this type of design or other things but uh, however if you want a uh, pre-designed mail over there that will help you to consume your time so that uh, this process is going to be used means suppose if you are writing or sending a mail to a company uh, time to time or day to day okay but the format is same okay the sending process or the sending format uh, of that particular email is same then you can simply save that format as a template in your uh, pre-installed gallery okay now advantage of mail merge that what are the advantages the first topic of this lesson is advantage of mail merge so we are going to discuss about that some of the advantage of mail merge are you can send a common document letter to many people as i told you if you say that particular template you can save your uh, sorry not save you can send your uh, mail to many people like suppose it, uh, it is called like broadcasting okay now document can be personalized by, uh, for bulk mailing in short period of time okay now it is uh, easy to make change uh, to a single document means uh, in the previous you cannot uh, uh, when you are not supposed to know about mail much you are not supposed to uh, create a document but now when you just simply know that how to be just simply create a mail much you can easily uh, change a single document okay now a common document can be saved and reused means suppose if a mail you can uh, if you uh, just simply merge a mail you can uh, use it for uh, for the future also okay means reuse now it's same time as i told you uh, suppose uh, if i uh, told you that uh, you have to write, write the question answer but uh, suppose uh, you uh, put your notebook and it is simply pre-written in your notebook that it will save you too much time okay so as uh, as i told uh, as i just simply give you information about that 
सपोज एनीथिंग सपोज आई एम कमिंग हेयर एंड सम ऑफ द थिंग्स आर सिंपली रिटेन इन द बोर्ड विच विल सेव माई टाइम सपोज द डेट इज मैंशन देयर द सब्जेक्ट द क्लास एंड द लेसन नंबर इज ऑल्सो मैंशन देयर दैट इट विल सेव माई टाइम ऑल्सो ओके मीन्स आई डोंट हैव टू डू एनी थिंग एल्स आई टू जस्ट सिंपली कम हेयर एंड जस्ट सिंपली टीच यू बिकॉज ऑफ दिस थिंग और सॉरी ऑल दिस थिंग्स आर सिंपली प्री रिटेन हेयर Okay, means they are pre-saved. Okay, so I will simply come here and reuse this, and after that I will start teaching, recording video. Okay, but if such type of things are not mentioned here, if the uh, board is also uh, not uh, so uh, good, like it's dirty over there, uh, chalks are just simply here and there uh, mentioned over there. and something else uh, written in the board then first of all i have to just simply come here erase it okay after that mention the date class subject okay the lesson number after that the topic of the today's videos okay or the today's topic so you have to just simply mention this all so uh, before, uh, before i start uh, the teaching to you or just simply record this video i have to waste about 10 to 15 minutes over this okay so after wasting such uh, time i just simply uh, start teaching you or recording this video but if i got all these things in a pre ready manner that i just simply save my time i just simply made that video in just 20 minutes or 30 minutes okay so now the second point okay the second point is component of minimal okay means what are the basic components of main merge we are going to discuss about here so the component main component uh, sorry main document data source and merge document are the three main component of main merge okay so you have to remember these all because might be there will be a question ahead in your exercise uh, like uh, what are the three main sources of uh, main merge then you have to just write this line that main document data source and merge document are the three main component of main merge so we are going to discuss about that what is main document what is data source and what is merge document okay so the first heading is main document the main document contain the information that will remain the same in each of the merge document it can be a letter so it can be a letter envelope label or so on okay likewise you have watched there are logo over there that is same in my all the video okay for class 3 for class 4 for class 5 for class 6 all the class have the uh, video and have a logo over there that is same in all the classes nothing is changed over there so that is called pre design okay so i am going to use this type of pre design uh, uh, pre design logo in my all the videos okay now uh, source uh, sorry data source what is data source mean where the uh, sorry that particular uh, that particular thing that you pick up in your mail okay means the data source contain information such as a name and the address of respect respect and uh, this information will change in every document and it to be inserted into the merge document means suppose who uh, who is the owner that created that mail okay so that uh, the owner that created that mail will change his name by uh, sorry change that name by his name okay suppose i am writing that mail and i just simply Uh, erase it and write my name. Okay, N name and also the address so that you can just simply uh, uh, likewise address are there are uh, two types, two or three types of like address like my Gmail address, my URL address like the bundle 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 uh, basket bundle man dot com and likewise uh, uh, else there are some other uh, my uh, personal address, my home address means okay. So such type of address you have to just simply mention there and after that. Uh, I think the recipient address. I think uh, this is called the at the rate. Okay, like Bashpin Pratiman at the rate gmail dot com. This is the address of that recipient. Recipient means the person who uh, received that particular mail. And after that, merge document. When the mail document and data source are merged, what is 
Microsoft Word replaced each word field in the main document with data from data source. Okay. Now uh, this means the main document of the data is just simply merged in the main document. Okay. Means all the all these main uh, uh, sorry uh, all these data sources are simply merged into the main main document so that uh, the reader can get also see from there. Now after that the result in the third document the merged document which is combination of the main document and data source okay so means the third document is the merged document okay means uh, suppose uh, uh, i will have to take some example over there uh, likewise uh, i will simply read these three topics but in the uh, in this in the last topic i will simply merge these two topics in the last in the last topic okay uh, some of the part of first topic and second topic i will and teach in the third topic. This is called the merging of the document. So I will simply take some data from here, some data from here, and after that merge it. Okay, and after that contain in the and teach you in the third topic that is having main merge. Okay. So now in figure four point one. Okay, you can just simply see see this the component of main merge. That what type of component of main merge are there? So uh, the main document has the merge field like name and email. Okay, so here you have to uh, watch that there is only two things that name and mail merge. Okay, name my personal name that is Pratiman Bajpay and my email that is Bajpay Pratiman at the gmail.com. Okay, now after that. Okay, in this line, we will just simply discuss about that. When the data source is merged with the main document, the data and data from the data source replace the merge field is in each merge document. Okay, means all the merge document get changed according to that. Uh, according to that merge document. Now, for example, the first document will have ABC for the name and ABC at the rate ABC.com for the email. Okay, means the name that is mentioned there is ABC. Okay, suppose my name, I took my name like uh, Pradhan Bajpi and then the Gmail Bajpi Pradhan at the gmail.com means the second one will have AAA for the name and AAA means like xyz and xyz at the rate xyz .com. okay so now and so on means this type of pattern will goes on now after that step of mail merging now the third point is step of mail merging that how do we just simply uh, merge the mail where we have to just simply follow these steps so that we can uh, just simply merge the mail so the step of mail merging are Creating the main document, creating the data source, merging the main document with data source. Okay, so there are three steps. Okay, first we have to just simply create a main document over there. Okay, so uh, we have to just simply creating a main document. After that, creating the data source. Data source we have to also create. After creating such type of things, we have to merge the main document. Means the first step and the second step what merge in the third steps okay so first step is creating the main document that how do we just simply create a main document so opening microsoft word you have to just simply press no you have you have to just simply press the uh, start button type w o r d like word okay when you just simply type this your uh, list will show microsoft word 2010 or what type of version of uh, Microsoft Office, you have suppose you have 2013 or 2016, then you will got the word 2013, or if you have 16, then word 2016 you got on the top of the list. After that, you have to simply press enter key so that the word Microsoft WordPad open in front of you in a pop up style. <coughs> now, after that, <coughs> click on the mailing tab, okay. You have to just simply click over the mailing tab. Uh, I think I have to just simply made a video over a projector so that uh, you can get uh, a full review over there. That how could we simply create a mail, uh, mail merge? Okay, because uh, likewise this type of teaching I, I couldn't give you a full review because some of the points that 
I am discussing in front of you will uh, I think do, you don't get it because it is too problematic for you to understand such type of things because this is a new uh, a new portion in your syllabus. Okay, suppose if uh, uh, this portion comes with the MS Word or MS uh, PowerPoint, you will got it very easy. But this is a new topic over uh, MS WordPad. Okay, MS WordPad 2013. So you have to just simply click on the. Uh, you can just simply watch that what I am teaching you. After that, I will make a video over there in the over the projector, and I will teach you step by step uh, things that how could we sim just simply merge a mail in the MS WordPad 2010 or yes 2010. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, clicking on the mail, uh, mailing tab, then the start mail merge in the start mail merge group. Okay, you have to just simply click over the start. You can just simply watch that in the page number 49, 4.3 figure. That they just simply choose the start mail, the start mail merge group, and after that, the first is start mail merge option. Okay, button over there. So they just simply click over there. Now click on the step by step mail merge wizard option okay after clicking over there there will be a list over uh, in, in front of you you have to simply click over the step by step mail merge wizard option okay after <coughs> you can watch from here now in the, uh, after that the mail merge task pen appear on the right side of the document window okay there will be a window over there you can just simply got that in a pop-up style and after that click on the letter radio okay you have to just simply click on the letter radio here okay so radio button now click on the next starting document next starting document here in the bottom of the window you got a button that next starting document okay now after that you will be asked which document you would like to use for mailing mark mail march you will have the document open okay what type of uh, <coughs> document you want to use by mail mark you have to just simply choose that to click the use the current document means you have to simply choose this option that is the first option use the current document after that click on the next select recipient option okay that is on the bottom of the uh, doc, uh, bottom of the window but not to the last bottom okay second last okay so click over the next recipient uh, next select recipient okay so after that <coughs> after clicking over this this step means the uh, first step that is creating main document will over okay now after that the in this part the step of main merge the second part is that what is that creating data source will uh, just simply you have to just simply now create okay? now you have to simply create the main document now after this you have to just simply create a data source so you will now be asked to select the recipient of your letter <coughs> Okay, so as we create the data source from the first time, choose the type of uh, type a new list radio button. Click on the create. Okay, so you have to simply type a new list radio button over there and click on create button. Okay, after that in the new address list dialog box, enter the address information means what is the address of that particular recipient recipient means suppose you are sending the mail to me then you can simply uh, uh, enter the email id of mine okay that is www.gmail.com now after that <coughs> enter the detail of recipient in the text box okay what are the uh, details of mine suppose my name my mobile number my other uh, other uh, personal details that you will simply know okay or you have some uh, written uh, my detail over there in the paper so you just simply mention the, uh, all the details over there so now click on click on new entry okay so just you have to just simply click over the new entry button and uh, to enter the detail of the next recipient okay suppose you have to simply fill this all if you fill any other recipient <coughs> uh, uh, details so you have to just simply click over the new entry now after that click on ok when 
when you are done okay we suppose you are uh, sending uh, that mail to two person that you just simply suppose first is me and second is any other person then you just simply uh, fulfill all the details of mine and that person too after uh, after creating uh, oh sorry after uh, after entering all the details or the uh, address of that particular recipient okay the other recipient after that you have to click on the okay button okay in the you can just be got here that is okay button okay now after that <coughs> the same address list okay like a same window as you just simply got from uh, when you just simply use the word pad uh, when you type some document and you just simply press ctrl plus s button the same window will appear in front of you likewise when you just simply save that uh, mail it will again give you such type of uh, uh, save window in front of you that is uh, save address list after that click so enter the name for the data source in the file name text box okay file name text box you have to just be given here you have to uh, type the name like list of parents okay now click on save button you have to just be save it first okay after saving it wait a minute okay after saving it <coughs> you have to just simply uh, a list of recipient details that you enter appear in the mail merge recipient window okay so you have to just simply got such type of window over there there you have to just simply know that who are these okay the last name the first name title the company name and the address okay address is that particular home address not the basti gadumen address like that not at the rate, not that domain name uh, we just simply write the particular address of that particular person after that selecting the recipient uh, recipient you want to add to your main document by checking the box next to the recipient okay you have to now to simply uh, <coughs> add your main document that you create for first time okay now click on the okay button here okay just you just simply click over the okay button and close the window okay click over the okay button and close that window now after that in the mail merge task pane click on the next right row letter option okay here in the bottom in the second last option you got that next right row letter right row letter okay you have to just simply click over there okay so after clicking over there again you have to now <coughs> margin or those three things uh, those two things means the main document and the source okay source data so after merging these all the uh, two uh, documents mean the main document and source data after merging this you can just simply get what so merging the main document with the data source wait a minute okay so merging the main document with the data source you uh, you have to just simply you can type the letter now okay if you have not done it already then what to do now click over the in the document click on where you want the recipient detail to be appear means in the full document where you have to just simply put the detail of that recipient you have to simply click over there okay after clicking over there you click the address block okay you have to just simply click over the address block over there in the mail merge task pane okay there will be a task pane over there likewise there when you just you click uh, open the clip part there in the right side there will be a uh, clip art pane will be opened okay you have to not just to click, uh, close it uh, what type of clip art you want then you just need search over there so likewise clip art the mail merge uh, pane will open in the right side so that so that you can just simply do what type you want to do okay so in the insert address block dialog block uh, dialog box Now uh, from the specified address element section, choose the format in which you want to show the recipient name. Okay, you have to just simply find that the format of the recipient name. That what type of uh, uh, format you want? Suppose if you want that Bashpin Pratiman, okay, then you can just simply write that like Mr. Bashpin Pratiman. Okay, if you want to write that. Uh, 
like here are some uh, particular formats which are just simply given here like uh, you can just simply watch from there okay so after you have to just simply select one of them after selecting one of them okay suppose mr bachpay pradhuman mr pradhuman bachpay or uh, bachpay pradhuman and after that is the last mr okay bachpay mr pradhuman and many more formats are there you can choose one of them so that uh, you can enter that particular detail and after that click on the okay button you have to just simply click over the okay button here are the preview from your recipient list that who are the person that you just simply send that mail okay now after that in the address block will appear at the cursor position in the different point okay so at the different point of the document when you just simply over that mouse you will got the address block all over the document okay uh, when you simply uh, position the cursor in the document whenever you simply position your cursor in that particular document you will got the address block okay and after that uh, uh, you can likewise this type uh, uh, after following such type of step that i will just simply told you we we'll just simply are the following things by which you can merge a mail with the help of these steps okay so you have to just simply read these steps very carefully because i don't think so you got all these steps by reading i just simply made a particular video by with the help of projector so that you can also get the full or all the details means i just simply teach uh, i just simply read that particular thing i just uh, give some of the uh, information that how to merge a mail over there okay so basically uh, i just uh, made a particular video by with the help of projector so that you can got 100% of knowledge of that is what is mail merge okay students i think it's enough for today and uh, i will simply stopping this video here but again i am simply uh, saying that if you are new to my channel then first of all subscribe my channel press the bell icon select all from below so that you can get the notification of my video very firstly so friends uh, stay tuned with me on my channel goodbye